back to Mario Golf, everyone. Uh... Thanks for tuning in. Let us begin, shall we? Let's get started. Come on, press start. So we left off in the middle of a match. Oh, I can pick Putz as a character now because I beat him. That's pretty cool. We left off in the middle of a match that's... I don't remember much else of what happened. Oh, we're in the middle of the June Club tournament. Oh, we need birdies. Okay. Yeah, we cut off at the turn, uh, for the Dune Club Tournament. Uh, we're just gonna hit this straight up and hope we don't land that bunker. Uh, I, I'm almost tempted to, uh, go for a power shot here. I'm already out of power shots? Really? Uh, let's not go for a power shot then. Let's aim. Let's aim right here, because we can play out of that rough on the last. Hopefully that two mile an hour wind will help us and we'll get that. No, 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 no. We're gonna be, we're gonna be good noodles and aim for this chunk apparently. It's more like than the hit. Ooh, but we could loft it a little higher by aiming low on the ball. You know what? We should not get though. We need to win this, so we don't have to do it again. And that, my friends, is why I did not gamble. Look at how close this shot's gonna be. Yeah, there was no way we would have had to have a perfect hit with a power swing and have lofted it to get that two mile an hour wind. Now it's a much, much easier shot. Look where we are. We are probably going to be having a fantastic approach to the pin with this if we get a good shot. And that's with our four wood. So. Look at that, perfect shot. So now we should have a second power hit available to us. We'll see, though. Oh, look at that. That's an easy chip. That's an easy chip for birdie. Provided we use the approach shot here. That's an easy chip. Uh, we should be able to hit it uh, somewhere around 10 to 15. 15 is halfway up the bar. I think we've got this. I think we can. I think we can manage a chip in here for birdie which would really save us a lot of strokes later in the game. That might be a little short, but it'll be a good approach nonetheless. I really mistimed that second hit for the accuracy. Yeah, and now we're putting for par. I could have... You could visibly see how I could have made that a birdie chip. Pretty easily, I think. Get in there. I was, I was very nervous that, like, you know how it kind of, like, edges up to the hole? I, I'm going to be doing my best to, uh, describe what's happening on screen in case the capture card loses its, uh, place. Okay, 7 mile an hour win to our right. Uh, we're gonna give it a little nudge. And we're just gonna give it the gas, we're gonna give it all we have with the 2 iron. And hopefully get a great approach on this par 3 hole. Very, very close to a perfect shot. Not quite what I wanted, but we might still have a good approach here. We're in the rough, but it's a 17-yard chip. This will be very simple. I think we... I say we give it a little over 15 and see what we get. Not exactly perfect. There's a little fade on that. I could have given it a little more, and we could have gotten a much, much better, easier par putt. This isn't bad for a par putt. It's only 12 feet, but uh, could have been even easier. Maybe even a chip for birdie, but I will take a par. The longer we sit at uh, no positives, no negatives, the more likely it is that a late birdie... Oh, come on, really? Already? All right, fine. You're going to be rude. I'm going to turn you off and turn you back on again. Uh, someone let me know, uh, command, I need to add a command. Yes, I know my own chat rules. Add, uh, capture. So 
now we should be able to uh, say capture and the stream elements Bob would yell at me. I did not do that right. Hey, the card's bugging out. Fix it. There we go. All right, let's see if we can get let's see if we can get a few birdies here to uh, get out ahead of the champ. They're 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 down to minus four, and I think um they're down to minus four, and I think we can make that up if we play smart. It's it's entirely feasible that it won't work out that way, but you never know. But anyway, how have you all speak this? Uh, I have been having, uh... I've been having a little bit of a week so far. Life is always interesting over here. That may not be enough. No, it was not. That's not an awful putt for Birdie, but it's still inconvenient. Yeah, look at how inconvenient this Birdie putt is. We are, uh, 44 feet out. I can't even use the short putt. Uh, let me adjust to the short putt just so I can get the right amount of adjustment for this hill we're putting down into. But I've been having, I've been having an interesting week. Uh, I tried to make some bread with uh, with some fresh flour that my mom got from the, flat, from the farmer's market. Uh, the first time it didn't work, and the second time I mixed it 50 50 with just white all-purpose flour, and uh, then it worked. So I'm assuming that the uh, fresh flour that my mom got doesn't have uh, gluten, protein, whatever makes a flour a strong flour. Come on, baby, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Look at that. Oh, we could have had that. I knew I should have given it that last little bit. We could have had that. That could have been a, that could have been a birdie if I wasn't talking about the bread. Anyway, the, the flour doesn't quite have the strength to it that it, uh, it can form gluten. Oh no, we're down at seven. We need to get some birdies, and we need to get some birdies now. Uh, so I mixed it with an all-purpose flour, and it, that gave it enough strength to produce bread. Uh, before that, it was uh, it was just untenably sticky would not form any gluten. Uh, just a mess, honestly. That's gonna be the bunker. Look at that. Now we gotta deal with that sand. Uh, of course, there's plenty of bunkers in the dune course. There's the pin. Okay. Yeah, we'll play it safe for this turn. Not perfect, but I can play it from that line. Yeah, that bunker's really costing us a shot here. Look there. There we go. Come on, keep going. Oh, please tell me that's... Okay, that's not out of bounds. It's just very rough. Alright, you think we can chip in? Okay, so 30 yards. Yeah, let's go a little over halfway on the approach shot here. Uh... Anyway, long story short, I got the flour to work, and it made some very nice, uh, white bread. Get in there. Get in there! No! Oh, get in there! No, keep going! <laughs> if it could've rolled, like, two picks this far, we could've had a birdie. 
I mean, very, very easy par putt, very good approach, but, uh, still. Yeah, he made a nice loaf of white bread, and I, uh, took it up to my grandpa, because, I, I don't know, I just felt like it was making a loaf of bread. Uh, but yeah, I'm keeping, I'm gonna be keeping it on hand for K Flower. Uh, keep one eye on the Discord, I will definitely be posting. Uh, I have a cake recipe that I want to try that uses, um, like a carbonated, oh no, we're right behind that cactus. No, dude. Oh, we're not. Everything is fine. Never mind. Annoyance rescinded. Look how close that is, though. Uh, but yeah, I have a, a recipe that involves a carbonated beverage for a cake, and I have these, uh, these Sakura Blossom sparkling waters. Oh, this is a birdie putt! Alright, let's go! Uh, I think, judging by the, by those hills, I think we can just give it straight and give it about 50-ish, and we might have a good birdie putt on our, if not more well, pretty front. Uh, let's say this. That might be a little too much. That was a little too much. And now we have a very annoying putt because there's a hill behind the green. Behind the hole there. Oh, this is very annoying. This is a very annoying par putt. We'll see. Come on, get in there, get in there. No, bogey! We can't, we can't stand a bogey right now. We're already, look, we're gonna drop. We're gonna drop like a stone. We're all the way at 11. Oh no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna meddle, everybody. Um, but yeah, I have a cake recipe that uses like a sweet and carbonated beverage. It's, just, it's designed for Coca-Cola, so uh, I'm gonna do recipe testing a little bit. Uh, first with all-purpose flour, and then once I have a recipe that I know for sure works, uh, I'll switch to the nice fine cake flour. Chip in, baby, let's go! Chip in for birdie! Bogey undone! We out here! Now we just need to keep doing that. Uh, we'll see if it comes together. Uh, I'm honestly kind of tempted to buy another sparkling water that's in easier supply than the cherry blossom water to test, and then once it works, use the cherry blossom water, but I also have it in a few, so we'll see. Uh, my initial thoughts are, because it's designed for Coca-Cola, I can just add a relevant amount of sugar based on, you know, the nutrition information of a, Coca of a can of Coca-Cola. But we'll see. Uh, keep one eye on the Discord. I will be posting uh, my attempts in a fair or foul. Also, I should post that little thread. Magnus, no. Oh, Magnus has knocked off one of the blankets, holding the sound in check, sir. Let's try this instead. There we go. Now he. No, he still can. There we go. Now he can no longer reach the blanket. Kitty, do not. Do I need to come pick you up? Do I need to give you squats live on screen? Mm -hmm. Come here. I know that looks like a lot of very enriching string, but it is not string. Come over here. Come over here for dad. Come on. Come here. The library's listening. Back to Susan. Hang on. I will just hassle some cables and remove the problem. There we go. Now the kitty will be much less tempted. 24 yards? I say we give it the 30. I think that... Ooh, no, 
that's open fin. Dang it. I was I was overestimating for the for the Yeah, I should really post my food more often on Discord, I will not lie. That's another par. There's no way we're going to uh, reach the podium now unless we met two birdies or better. You think we can make that? I do not think we can make that. I will use this power shot to get further down the fairway, though. Since we only got the one. We would have had more than one if I hadn't loved that shot very, very slightly. But I hope you all's week has been very good so far. Uh, I know Monday is often a trial for everyone involved. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I... I can bump up the... Yeah, that, that makes that shot more assuredly perfect. There we go. Okay, there we go. Do I get something for nailing that perfect shot with the one wood? Just... Uh... No! How directly are we behind this? I think I can curve it? No! I'm way too directly behind this thing. No, I have to waste the shot! Oh, because there's an obstacle right there, I can't play an approach shot either. Oh, this is very inconvenient. Well, this is an interesting difficulty. I did not land in the seat. That's where I was hoping the shot would land, so I could make I could take a good shot at the pin. But no. Going. Keep rolling. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Alright, that's inconvenient. That's what I get for playing a risky shot. Uh, easy par putt here, 10 feet. No hills, no nothing. I mashed and now we have a bogey. I'm a fool in a man's shoes. Oh no. I was so I I was so overconfident with a couple of these shots, and now it's fighting me. Now we're gonna have to do this again. I really wish I could get a perfect. I could get a power shot back for those those nice shot shots. You know. Okay. Uh, we'll just we'll make a run on the pin. Oh, I hit a tree on the way up. Rip and kill. We're dead. We're dead, that's the out of bounds. Is that out of bounds? Oh no, it's just rough. Okay, we are in the rough, about 40 yards from the pin here. A 12 mile an hour wind coming to our left at us. I could make an approach shot, I'm going to. Uh, actually, no, I'm not. A little over halfway there, should get us the 40 yards didn't. Now we are chipping in for par, which is always a horribly, horribly inconvenient situation to be in. Ten yards. Come on. No! Oh, I hit it eight yards for a bogey. This is what I get. I thought I was going to be warm. I thought I was going to have great hits tonight. Uh, that puts us in 11th place with a double bogey. Next time, try for first, it says. I got the experience for that. Uh, we're gonna take another pass at it. Now that we know the course a little bit, we're gonna take another pass at the tournament. Oh, uh, do I have to leave and come back for me to give me the next tournament? I will. Hi. Yes, I wanna play golf, I wanna play the club tournament and not absolutely biff it this time. Because we like, we had a good shot. Oh my gosh, 18 mile an hour 
uh, wind directly behind us, then we are going to make an absolute wild shot here. I'm going to use one of our power shots on this first pole because we've got that 18 mile an hour wind. I think we can make the second jump in the fairway. Ooh, just barely not a perfect shot. But we still got over the sand and are in that second chunk of fairway. Very, very good. Uh, this 18 mile an hour tail wind, because it's coming from behind us, really going to be a boom in here. I miss swung a little underpowered. Hopefully helps us out there. It did, but not quite enough. We've got a 16-yard chip on our approach here, uh, which is made a lot easier by that tailwind and by the fact that the 30, uh, the, the smallest approach shot with our sand wedge is 30 yards. So I, I think I can just hit 15 and see what we get. At least that's what I think. Or maybe even a little less than not mean to hit a little more than 15, but it turns out that's what we needed. Look at that approach. One yard or less. 3.1 feet uh, for the putt for par. Easy peasy. Just mash, tap it in. Starting out with an even zero. Uh, puts us tied for 10th with a good chunk of people. Uh, once again, if you are visibly watching the stream, I would very much appreciate a use of the capture command if the capture card decides to be angry. I'm doing my best to try and rehab what is wrong with the capture card, but uh, these cards are not very well documented, especially if they're out of production. So I appreciate your patience in a major way. Get there, get there, get to the pin. Look at that. Easy, easy approach shot. Uh, we've got two yards left. Seven feet uh, for birdie. The hill is likely negligible, but I will adjust just a smidge uh, to my left. Uh, the player's right. And uh, we'll hit it about ten and see what we next. You. It uh, it almost didn't make it, and it spun around the lip to fall in. Uh, that puts us at minus one because of that birdie tied for seventh with one other person. Let's see if we can keep that up. Uh, get down under that uh, minus four that two people are tied for right now for first place. Sorry, if I'm doing like obnoxious golf co color commentary, that's just because that's where this puts my brain. Uh, I played golf for a while in high school because I am, shocker, uh, very unathletic and particularly uncoordinated. Uh, and so golf was the sport that I could uh, do easily, shall we say. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to, one would ensure that we could get this chunk of fairway then before the in here for a very easy approach. Oh no, we clipped a we clipped a tree, a cactus in this place, and uh, hit an out of bounds. Oh, that's two two strokes and uh, a very unfortunate penalty here. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it again. Uh, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna gamble. We're gonna see if we can get over this out of bounds. And if not, uh, I may just restart the, uh, hit the reset button on the game and uh, see once if we can just restart the whole, the whole. We'll see. Ooh, not quite a perfect shot. Up and over the out of bounds. Uh, did not quite make it. So that means. Uh, if I can remember. Ah, here we are. Restart. That's not what I wanted. Restart.
And we'll see what we get. Worst case, we've just got a little, a little bit of a rough spot to work from. Let's see what this gets me. Uh, we can start from the clubhouse here. And then immediately leave the clubhouse and, uh... Ooh, you know what? Let's check for stars real quick. Stars. the putting contest at Palm. Uh, but we'll do that after the tournament, shall we? Let's get on over to Palm. Or wait, no. We're heading over to Dune because we already have the Palm tournament. Because we already won the Palm tournament last week. Let's take a shot at the club tournament. Uh, I completely whiffed. I was very overconfident. So we're giving it another shot. Uh, which isn't exactly supporting, but you know, sometimes you call a mulligan how it goes. Uh, we have a 14 mile an hour t uh, tailwind that's slightly to the player's right. Um, I think we're going to try and bank on that and hit that second chunk of the fairway again. I'm going to here for a second so I can actually hit the ball. I perhaps should have uh, gotten under that ball to really make sure the wind affected it but we still are in a very good spot, 236 yards on that second chunk of fairway. Apparently our best drive on this one is very good. Uh, now we've got an easy shot for pin uh, with a three iron, 161 yards. Uh, I say we send it. Uh, the worst is we overshoot the pin a little bit, best in case we get a really good approach. Because it always claims, oh yeah, you'll get 161 yards, but it's always a little less than that. I think it'll make for a really good approach. Uh, we will adjust a little bit to the left for the wind. Uh, not a ton, though, and we'll see what this gets us. Not exactly a perfect shot, but definitely workable. A uh, very good approach here. Uh, probably two yards. Uh, it says eight yards. Uh, 24 feet uphill here. I think we need to go for the medium putter, go a little over 30 feet, because there's a lot of hill in front of us. I don't know, though. 24, because it, uh, we have 24 feet remaining, 30 feet might be enough to make up the distance. I'm going to gamble on it, because we will have a very, very good uh, putt for par, if I'm wrong. We'll see what that gets us up the hill, very slowly creeping into the hole for birdie. It's a good start. We are tied for eight. Let's see if we can keep that up. Let's not gamble quite so hard on this one, uh, the third hole this time. Nice and easy. A little under 215 yards on our first drive here. A lot under 215 yards. Uh, 197 is quite big. Oh, I'm hitting a tree. No! Uh, I might be able to... I'm gonna see... Okay, hang on. I'm gonna save before I do this, but I'm gonna try and curve the ball around this cactus to get us a shot. Or I could... Or I could ease up a little. Or I could hit with the full three wood slightly to the left so we're not directly inclined to pin and try and get a good approach shot out of that. Okay, I know what I'm going to do if this goes poorly after I say. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, no, don't save. No, no, it's Uh, I have save states. I'm on an emulator. Uh, which I'm doing legally, by the way. I showed you all the hardware in the first episode. I'm going to save a state here. And we're going to take a shot at them. And I will just load the state. I think I can do this. So, we need to hit the right side of the ball so it curves for Is that enough curve? Question of the day. Answer of the day, yes, but we are in a rough position in that bunker. I think I'm going to take it. I'm going to play it as it lies. Uh, and we're just going to incline the wind a little bit. It's very slight wind, 5 mile an hour, uh, with 27 yards from the pin uh, in this bunker. And 
we're gonna see what we get. I'm gonna play about half of the sandwich's total 68 yards and see if it gets as good a pro. Not quite perfect, but definitely a workable approach. That hill really doing us a favor, skirting past the hole. Uh, still allowing us a very, very easy par putt here. Uh, 5.6 feet uphill means it's just barely a masher. Just give it a little tippy tap, and into the hole it goes. Uh, I definitely am of the opinion that if we had gotten it very, very slightly less on that uh, sandwich there out of the bunker, I think we could have rolled in because we just barely flipped the lip there. Uh, I will still take a very easy par putt tied for eight. Uh, 18 mile an hour tailwind coming from behind the player uh, to their right, uh, which translates, given the angle of the fairway, to just a straight 18 mile an hour rightward wind. Uh, we're going to see if we can get a we can just really... Uh, do we want to decrease the turn? I'm going to decrease the turn here and try and hit it on its top so that it uh, does not incline quite as far uh, upward and see if that gets... It'll get us out of the wind and I want to see what sort of effect it'll have on the ball. Very, very slightly away from the perfect shot here still rolling onto a very favorable part of the fairway for 198 yards. I think we've got a great shot of the pin here. Uh, honestly, I'm going to play into the rough. This is maybe not an advisable shot, uh, but it, I think it, we are better off to play off of this rough for an easy approach chip than we are to try and dial down the forward to hit this uh, fairway with a big old cactus there. Again, I know I said, oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't get cocky on the third hole, but I'm going to. We're not in line with any part of the out-of-bounds here, so I think, genuinely, I know it's a counterintuitive play to hit into the rough for an easy approach chip, but we're chipping for an approach anyway, so it doesn't really matter all that much playing out of the rough. A little underpowered, we're probably going to wind up in the sand here. Yep. Right on the edge of the sand. It still counts. Uh, 112 yards. Uh, I think the 7 iron is going to really give us a lot of uh, upward momentum here, so we're going to adjust accordingly for that 18 mile an hour win. Uh, we're just going to give it a, give everything it has. Uh, Sam's going to take a couple yards off of our shot, and I think we need a really good approach here. Since we've got, we're 112 yards from the pin, and Max is another 122. Not quite perfect, but definitely uh, will translate into a workable approach here. Uh, fairway right at the edge of the green, 26 yards for our approach ship here. I'm going to switch to the approach... Uh, sand wedge for 30 yards and just give it all 30 and see if we can uh, parlay something out of it. We adjust our shot a little bit. I miscalculated the wind initially. Alright, let's see what this gets us. 30 might be a little much. Let's see, 30 was definitely a little much, but the wind really got a hold of that one. We've got a 10-foot uh, par putt. Uh, a little bit of a hill here, so we're going to roll upward into the hill and give it, uh, well, we're downhill, so give it, uh, close to its actual 10 feet and see what we net. Come on, come on. No! Look at how close to the wind of the cut! It's like two pixels. The tiniest, babyest mash the button, literally less than one foot away from the hole here, mash the button for a bogey. Really unfortunate, I, I I didn't adjust for the hill enough. I saw the hill coming and still didn't, still didn't adjust enough, so we're coming into the fourth hole here. Uh, five mile an hour win. This is, uh, this, we have potential here for a hole in one if I time this right. Uh, 122, uh, 122 yards on our seven iron, 115 to pin. I say we go for it just based on, you know, we occasionally lose that much 
Uh, regardless, we're gonna have a really good approach shot. Perfect shot on the 7 iron. The wind just barely inclining the ball, uh, giving us a very, very easy approach from the green edge here. Uh, 21 feet. We overdid it a little bit. Uh, we can dial back. Uh, you might have seen the uh, cup uh, view flash up very momentarily. Come on, look at that. We are we are really eating it today with the very the shots very, very close to the whip. A uh, very easy par putt though. We could have had that birdie if I had adjusted just very slightly less. Unfortunate. Leave, to, leaving us tied for seven. Uh, zero up, zero down. Uh, kind of an undone the birdie we had. A fifth hole, 17 mile an hour win my left. We're going to hit as the game suggests here, and land pretty squarely in the center of the fairway, uh, giving us this kind of a wider chunk of the fairway. Uh, 185 yards to the pin. Uh, we're going to swing into the wind a little bit here, and hopefully get a very good approach off of this four wood. If not, uh, we'll have a very, very easy chip. Uh, yeah, pretty easy chip, 26 yards. Uh, 26 yards in the wind, I think. Oh yeah, mostly in the wind. It's almost directly at us, so I'd say we adjust the smidgen and uh, give it a shot. Getting under the ball here, the wind really slowing it down. Not exactly a perfect approach. But uh, 7.9 feet, but uh, 7.9 foot putt for bar. Take a tap, just barely making it in there. Easy par. Once again, tied for seven. Uh, we really need some birdies to get it in the rankings here. Uh, coming in the sixth hole, 12 miles an hour to my left. That didn't exactly do exactly what I wanted, but it's workable. 202 yard drive. I know there's a driving contest somewhere in this game. Because I remember trying to do the driving contest. It says, like, oh yeah, set where you're gonna hit. And I kept, like, cranking it out as far as it would go. Because I was like, hee hee hee, that means it'll make it so I hit that far. Because I was so small. Uh, and then I kept missing, they were like, You're not hitting as far as you say you're hitting. You lose. I'm like, no. Uh, 12-yard approach here. Uh, uh, we're going to bump it down to the approach uh, sand wedge here. For the very a little more fine-grained control. Right about there. Looking like a calculated 15-yard shot. Chip in. Chip in for birdie. 12 yards out, not bad at all. I was just saying we need a birdie. We're now tied for sixth rather than seventh at minus one. We need a few more of those. Very, uh, very linear green here. Hopefully we can get a good approach on that. 13 mile an hour wind to the left. I say we play it as the game suggests and let the wind uh, pull us into the center of the fairway. sitting on as many of the uh, power shots as I can, uh, just for the back nine. I'm rolling down the hill on this fairway directly behind a cactus, thoroughly, thoroughly inconvenient. I'm tempted to go for a power shot here. How much would the power shot net us? I'm going to gamble on the power shot because it puts us five yards behind the pin. And if I hit it perfectly, we won't lose the power shots. I know I said I should save these for the back nine, but we're almost there at the seventh hole. I'm going to climb up here for a second to make sure I get the shot just right. Not quite perfect, uh, but definitely a workable approach here. 
so long as we don't roll into that bunker. But we did. Oh no, we were right on the edge of the bunker. Semi rough. Uh, 24 yard shift here. Uh, the wind may affect the ball. We're gonna lean in a little bit. I'll give it somewhere between the. somewhere in the last third of the meter here. Or the last fourth of the meter, I should say. With that 24 yards and the 30 yard maximum. Right about there, baby. Very inconvenient approach. Uh, it seems like we avoided the hill that the uh, the pin is on, so we can just give it a little tippy tap for those last eight feet. Get in there. There we go. I will take that par. Not exactly what I wanted. We had a good shot at a we had a really good shot at a birdie there. Uh, just really just did not quite get the yardage we needed on the. Uh, Second shot. Uh, R3 sand everywhere. 15 yard, 15 miles of wind to my right. Uh, we're just gonna send it to two iron to see what we get. Uh, well, actually, 167. Not full sand. Most of a sand. Because if we come up short, we're in that sand, and that would make for a pretty easy uh, approach chip, I would say. A little bit less power than we probably needed uh, in the rough before the sand. Uh, very inconvenient uh, approach shot here. 28 yards out of 30. I'm gonna give it as close to the full 30 as I can manage. We'll see what that gets us for an approach. Uh, four yards left on the green for par. Uh, we are downhill. Give it a little less than we think. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come straight on because the, uh, the two hills that I'm going to run through should equalize themselves. That may be a little too much. Oh, very, very much lipping the cup there, rolling off of the lip of the cup, uh, lipping out for a very, very, uh, very hasty bogey, which should have been a par putt should have adjusted very slightly to the left. Uh, that, that plus one brings us back to zero, positive or negative, uh, and puts us in tied for seven. Very unfortunate. Uh, the ninth hole, we've got a little chunk of fairway all the way through this water hazard. We do not have the power to swing for it yet, even with that six mile an hour wind. So let's just aim for the center of the fairway and let that wind work for us. Pretty close to that, uh, I would assume we're going to be pretty close to that 215 yards. Yep, 208 yard drive initially. Not half bad. Uh, I'm, I don't think I should gamble on going over the water feature here, but I am going to. Perfect shot. If this doesn't work, uh, it never would have worked. Just barely over the water feature, into the rough. Very, very risky shot. If I had been even a pixel off on either of those, I don't think that would have worked. Very slight adjustment. 66-yard uh, approach here. I think we've, we've got something going. Not quite a perfect shot, but definitely will give us a great approach on this green, which has a very strange layout. 27 feet per birdie. Uh, this is going to do something wild if I hit. Uh, we are hitting downhill. A little less than we think. How's it up there? How's that? Rolling, rolling, rolling with the hill. Lipping into the cup for birdie. Very much. Uh, oh, tied for third with four people, but still tied for third. We are at the turn. Coming in tied for third. Uh, as long as we can hold on to this lead, maybe make a few more birdies, uh, we'll really be on to something here. Very surprised that uh, that whole. Uh, very surprised at the way the green behaved on hole nine there. I did not expect to make that. A little bit of wind, we need to adjust. 
more, uh, 200, 196 yards to pin, uh, 200 yards out of the club we're using. I say we give it a full send and have a great approach. Almost perfect, very slightly off on the second uh, button press there. Great, great approach though. Uh, should be a possible birdie here, uh, not entirely infeasible. Uh, switch down to the small putter to adjust for this hill we're hitting up into. Uh, medium putter, we need to go about 30 feet, we're hitting uphill, I think a little ways under the halfway mark here should get us what we need. We'll see. Ooh, just barely skirting by the lip of the cup there. Uh, ironically, I think the adjustment I made for the hill cost us that birdie. Very easy tip and tap mash putt for par though. As long as we can hold on to that minus one, even if we're tied for third. Ooh, 18 miles an hour wind. Uh, behind us, coming from behind us to the player's right. Uh, I think we even can give this a little less than the full forward. 176 yards to the pin, 186 uh, from the club as intended. I'm going to adjust and hit adjust very slightly left. It's not perfect. It's not going to incline it that far, but it needs a slight adjustment due to the incline. I think we give it almost all of the forward and see what that nets us for. Almost exactly what I was aiming for, so if my intuition's incorrect, it was really incorrect. Uh, ooh, rolling to a stop right past the edge of the green there. Uh, very, very interesting approach chip here. Uh, into the 18 mile an hour wind. I say we give it 10 and see what we get. A little less than 10, but, uh... Turns out that was the correct play anyway. Uh, very easy seven foot par putt here. Very slight adjustment for the grade of the green here. Can't press the button hopefully correctly enough, so we'll see what that gets us. Ooh, might have given it a little too much gas. Nope, easy par. Uh, again, had a shot at a birdie there miscalculated very slightly. Uh, very odd green shape here on the 12th hole. Play it as the game suggests. Not quite a perfect shot off of our, off of our driver there, but definitely a respectable drive of 206 yards given our stats. Uh, 120, uh, 172 yards to the pin here, 186 out of the four legs. Once again, I think I say we give it a little less than full and see where that nets us in our approach. Uh, we're going to want to hit short of the pin here because we bumper behind the pin. A uh, negligible wind at one mile an hour. A little less power than I intended, but that's not the end of the world. It still may net us an interesting approach shot. Uh, falling all the way down into that little pit uh, at the green edge there uh, makes for a very, very interesting uh, approach here. Uh, very, very large hill we're hitting directly up into off the green edge here. I say we, despite having 31 feet left, I say we full send uh, for 50 feet. And uh, the worst thing is we're a little open and uh, we're hitting for birdie anyway. A little less than 50. Turns out to have been the correct option. Uh, just barely sliding off the lip of the cup there. A very simple par putt here. Just a little tip and tap. Four feet. Yep. Easy peasy par. Uh, bumping up to second. Tied for second with four with three other people. Uh, we just need a few birdies here and we'll at least get something workable. I don't think we're going to catch the champ at minus five, but just a few birdies will really do us some favors. And the drive, perfect swing on the drive. Let's see how much it gets us. Uh, 200, 212 yards. Very, very good. 
the number 1415 listed, but definitely workable. Uh, 242 yards have been here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to play the suggested club forward. Uh, remember that we don't always get the 100 feet listed yardage. Not quite perfect, the uh, power of the shot, a few ticks less than full, right behind the cactus in the rough, very inconvenient. Thankfully the cactus is not in our way uh, for this chip out of the rough for our approach to the green. 117 yards to the pin. Perfect 7-iron shot. Uh, may get us the full approach, not if we bonk into some cactuses. Uh, eight, stuck 18 yards away from the pin, uh, in the rough. Perhaps a little bit more than I intended on that approach swing would leave us a very, very easy par putt, uh, seven feet. Oh, come on. Just barely rolling over the lip there. Did not give that enough power. Probably did not deserve that far. Still remaining tied for second. Uh, the champ coming down to minus four. Uh, it is not infeasible if we really nail these shots to catch the champ. Uh, the power... I will save the power screen for now. Just aim for this chunk of the fairway. Let's see what we get. Not quite a perfect drive, very slightly off on both sides. Nets us uh, 190, 200 yards, 201 yards. Uh, right behind a cactus, very inconvenient. Uh, we are estimated 10 yards behind the pin here with the three wood. I should not send it here. I should not try to full send with the, with the three wood here. We are going over a section of the out of bounds. But I'm willing to get Very tempted to save state here, but I'm just going to take the gamble as it is. And if we whip, we whip. Not quite a perfect shot, but it's beginning to look like it did not matter. Very, very good approach. Very slight influence from some hills. I forgot to close my Skype. I apologize. Everyone wave hi to Raz, uh, sending these cute Skype messages. Uh, birdie putt as indicated by the music here. Uh, 13 feet for birdie, I think we just, we just go for it. Very little influence from any of the live green here. I think we just go for it. Uh, I, I've over-adjusted these shots before. Exactly 15 feet, just barely rolling off the lip of the cup. I should have adjusted for that hill, despite my better guess. Easy, easy masher for par here, but really unfortunate. We could have had that birdie. Uh, still tied for second here. Uh, par 3, 147 yards to the pin. Uh, Free iron did not adjust for the 13 mile an hour wind. Now I have most of the free iron given it's suggesting 161 yards. We don't we don't lose 10 yards. Little soft, but that may be a workable approach regardless. Uh, we are we are in we are rolling down a hill. We are rolling down a hill into the rough. Very annoying chip up over that hill for 29 yards. Here. Very slight inclination to adjust the 13 mile an hour wind. A little over the halfway mark here should net us a very good spot next to the pin for an easy par pot. A little too hard, but that's not the end of the world. This, this green fly looks very inconvenient, but I think it's workable 8 feet to the pin. Much there, rolling around the lip 
on green negligible volume, but uh, unfortunately netting us get bogey, which is not going to do anything pretty to our stats. Uh, that bogey bumps us down to a tie for fourth. Uh, a lot of people had the same issue we had, apparently. Uh, we need, we are in dire need of some, of some birdies, maybe even some eagles. Stay to have a shot at the podium here. 250, uh, 385 yards, par 4. Perfect drive. 5 mile an hour wind should put us in a useful part of the fairway. And it does. 218 yards on that drive. Very, very good. Uh, outstripping the 215 listed. 185 yards to the pin. Uh, four wood nets us 886 yards. I will take the uh, reduced, the, the reduction that we normally get as a good approach shot. Not quite a perfect shot, let's hope it still nets us a workable approach. Uh, very inconveniently placed in the rough there, just barely on the end of the rough. We will give it uh, 30 yards with our sand wedge. I hope that's enough to get to the 28 yards left of the pin. Not quite a perfect shot, but a very, very acceptable approach. Uh, 8 feet for par here. Should be a relatively easy tippy tap. And it is, sinks in, for par. Uh, tied for 5th now. We need some birdies, we need them bad. We won't even place. Now is the time for some power shots. We've been sitting on all five of these. Not quite a perfect drive. Uh, very, almost rolling into the rough there. 224 yards off of that drive. to have to take a shorter shot here to land where we need to get around this dog leg. Hopefully we can net a good approach based on this shot here. Hopefully we stay in the fairway. We remain in the fairway. 125 yards and par 5. If we, let, if we somehow sink this chip, we're in business. But this is 125 yards out. I wouldn't hold your breath. Very slightly under maximum, very slightly imperfect on that 6-iron. Still for the best, very good approach. Beginning to look like if we had nailed that shot, we could have maybe had a good eye for that eagle. Uh, 11 feet, very little influence from the uh, green here. I think we just go for it. Even a little too much, but that's, not, but that's still allowable. Landing birdie here. Uh, bumps us up to a tie for fourth. Uh, we will need a birdie here on the 18th hole to podium. And that's even making it third place. I think we need to do a little more grinding, don't you? Not quite a perfect drive. Still a useful application of the power shot here uh, in the rough very next very close to a bunker, uh, 186 yards to the pin. Power shot not going to come in handy here. Uh, full send, 180 yards to the pin, 186 on the club, we're just going to send it uh, very slightly adjusted to the right for the 16 mile an hour wind and see what we net. Nearly perfect shot. Just a very slight smidgen less power than we needed. Uh, coming out of some rough 27 yards to the end. I say we give it 30. Nearly perfect shot once again. Uh, less, uh, very much inflicted by that 16 mile an hour win. Very stressful par putt here. 20 feet uphill means closer to 30 feet. 
we need to sink this. Ooh, just barely. Uh, almost gave that a little too much. Far putt uh, sticks us tied for fourth. Unfortunate. So close. Uh, taking the experience points, though, very, very useful. Uh, 80 experience points for a non-podium game. Uh, we've got to level up here. Uh, I'd say... Okay. Uh, I'm very tempted to... Actually, let's... Let's, uh... Let's dump another point into height and see if... Because it will... It will de facto net us more drive. Uh, we've been... We've been putting very little into the meat area. Which, honestly, the meat area has been biting me plenty, too. You know what? We put very little into the, uh... Into the meat area. And we put very little into height. I'd say let's, let's, uh, let's get some more remarkable ball control, because judging by the way this, uh, this hole reacts, we will need it. Fifteen. Sixty-two points for the next one. Yeah, we didn't quite make it on that one. I think we need to, uh, go grind, and the easiest way to do that is a mine some of these star side quests. We haven't done any of them for dudes. So let's go over here to the first area. This should be the driving area. Driving range, baby. Talk to this guy. If you don't miss on trouble shots, you can come back. Putting your mind to it tends to work quite well. What's that guy doing over here? Hey, what are you doing over here? Hello? Am I up? Landing the trees on a missed shot is trouble. Want to learn a good recovery shot? Absolutely. You can use a slice for a boat. There's another way. You can try shooting over or under the trees. Usually you can't get to the green through trees, but you might be able to if you use a low trajectory. Okay, so if you hit the top of the wall. First, choose your shot, but power shots fly higher, so use normal power. Okay. The big clubs are best for low trajectories, so I'm using two iron. That makes sense. Uh, the irons, the iron numbers, uh, roughly indicate the inclination of the irons, like two irons almost flat, but a nine iron has a very wide angle. Maybe lost the ball. And pitching wedge and say it yeah, look how look how that just barely gets off the ground. Give this a slightly smaller tap, I would say. Yeah, give it normal power. Uh, sand wedge or bigger is trouble, so two iron. Yeah. So, let's... Let's see if we can get this somewhere to use, shall we? We're gonna give this a little less than its full half. We're gonna give this a little less than half power. Let's see what it gets us. Not quite perfect, but definitely adjusted the incline. Needs more power, still in the rough. Didn't get it on the fairway, it's the trouble shot. You gotta get back to the fairway. Yeah, give it another shot here. We will use the uh, five iron for this test here. And just kind of give it a little, little maybe bump to get onto that first chunk of the fairway. A little less than needed, I think. Yeah, not enough. We're not giving this enough power. Gotta give it more than half. Yeah, let's give it another shot. Once again, it's adjusting the two iron, but if we bump all the way up to two iron, we'll where we are. I'll leave it at five iron. Try and three fourths here, see what it gets us. Maybe. Nope. Hold on to the rough there. I wonder if we're better off adjusting up to the two iron and just skip. Oh no, that counted. It's really good for a trouble shot. 45 experience. I was not expecting that to count. We take those. You hit farther now? Yeah. I'm jealous, but hitting farther means less control. That's why I have to dump more points in these 
control stats as I jump into the rockets. Oh, thanks. That, that was it? Thank you. The thing I've already noticed. Assess worst... Uh, assess worst case scenario risk on troubleshot. Yeah. In theory, you attack a two-tiered green head-on. If there's a hazard, isn't it dangerous? Yes. Avoid the hazard by aiming for the back of the green. Healy is calling me. I'm streaming. Okay. Sorry. In a high ball, right? Then it should work. Impossible to approach this kind of hole with a standard shot, so try getting under it and dropping right down on the pin. Normal power should be fine. Oh, it is a two-tiered green. Look at it. Huh. Wild. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can get a summon. Yeah, two clubs have the power to normal and really loft it up here. Uh, honestly, I, I, no, we should go nine iron and just not give it all of it because uh, we have 88 yards of pitching right, 86 yards to the pin. That four mile an hour wind might eat, eat up too much medicine and sand. So. A little too much power from the nine iron here, but we lofted it way, way up. Still not quite enough. Positive failure message I, I have ever read. Okay, so we need to give it a little less on the nine iron. How's this? Really lofting it up very, very high into the sand. That was not quite enough of a swing. Just hold the control pad down. Keep exactly what I was looking for, but it might be enough. Nope, into the sand again. Wow. Yeah, let's give it one more shot. Maybe we do need to give it the full nine iron. We're really locking it up a long, long way. We're getting under it with a nine iron. Almost a perfect shot with a nine iron. Let's see if that gets us where we need to be. That's a little too much, so it's between the end and the last four. Oh, you need to get closer, yes, absolutely. Alright, let's give the second kick from the left shot. Exactly what I meant to do for once. Let's see if it gets us the pin. Ooh, if we had and it rolled a little less. So we need even less even. Huh. Oh no, he's gonna count it. That's, that's great for such a hard shot. You have talent. I appreciate you counting that. Oh, that level is up again. Nice. Uh. I need to, I need to put another point to not have fade or draw in my shot. But also, I want to put another point in the drive. What if we put another point in the drive, and then continue to do these challenges? Hopefully we'll get enough experience to erase that draw. I'm gonna do that. Is there a driving contest here? Are you sure? Hey, can we check our stars here? Yes. Marion, Palm. We still need to do the putting, the putting at Palm, too. Uh, approach lessons and putting contests, too. So, we could always use the putting help. 
So let's go do the approach contest first. Let's see who's, who's here and who's not. Hi there. I can't approach a pin at the near end of the green with a guard by a hazard, right? I mean, it's hard to pin. I wish I could get the ball right to pin on those shots. You can with a lob. You have to swing it way up. Approaching a pin that's five yards from the guard bunker is a tough shot, but a 20 yard lob puts you right there. Select an approach shot, then choose your club. Now a 20 yard carry and a 5 yard run, so I use my sand wedge. Start the cursor, then press the down to pop it way up for backspin, so I can immediately put the brakes on. Not quite enough, but a very, very good approach. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Go the 60 yard approach, give a little more than he did. Maybe a little too much. Ooh! That's a fantastic approach, but I was really hoping I could sink it. Quick learn! I need to remember that I can I can lob and roll it. I can apply forward and back for the spin. Aim for the fin from below to climb the green. You can't save far if you do it wrong. Sure. So to attack, roll the ball to pin. Use a high ball and run it for the big miss. So this is the exact opposite of what we just did. This is intentionally landing short and rolling. Ten yards from the ball to the green is flat. The next ten yards, five yards from there is the pin, so you have to stop there. So this is intentionally hitting short and rolling up into the hill to, put, to really put the brakes on the ball and get it exactly where you can't judge on a fairway roll, so an iron's best. Seven iron's low shot can carry it and roll up the green. Honestly, I don't believe it. That's just me. See what I mean? They use the hill to stick the brakes on the ball. So seven iron, uh, second approach. We're gonna need to hit it over the top. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go 30 feet. That's not right though. Let's go at one tick less than 30 feet. Uh, see if the roll can work. A little more power than we needed. Uh, rolling right past the lift there. We did not engage with the hill. That's why they were hitting it short. Let's give it another shot. approach. Ooh, no, oh, oh, stop that. Not the shot we wanted. I just completely whipped that on purpose because I did not swing early enough. Try one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick your things. That might do. Rolling up the hill to a almost Perfect stop, roll, lipping the cup even. There we go. There we go. Oh, wait, I thought we were going to level there. Uh, avoid hazards as best you can, but if you always avoid them, you'll never get a birdie, so practice up. Yeah. I'm walking through the book. Is, he, is Finn helping my approach? Yeah, I've been, I've been using it really good on the approach shots. What did I say no? Spin shots are helpful. Can I do one? Yeah. Switch up first. If I say no twice, after the shot, he starts moving. Yeah, he just tells you how. Okay. Why are you pointing away, guy? Maybe there's a mysterious club maker out there. If you see any hot terrain? Check it out. Wait, is the mysterious club maker the guy we like? made that super annoying uh, shot from. Really stick the brakes on here. Not bad, not bad. Could have been better. Not all. Give it another one. Give it another one straight up and down. Kind of a 
good way to illustrate the differences in shot here. Hmm. Well, that was interesting. Seven times out of ten, we are... Oh, this is very weird green. Uh, we're going to adjust for that rightward hill, and uh, we have a very slight downhill, so we need to get a lesson, we think. That might be more than I want, but it's not. We're sticking... We are sticking in the circle, one out of one. Do it again. Just barely staying in the circle. Two out of two. Didn't much. Nope. Look at that. Sink. Three out of three. Do it again. Oop. Oh, that's a little too much. No. Agony. Three out of four. We should have made that. We made that one earlier. Dang it. Lucky bounce. Ooh, lipping right down into the hole. Eight out of six. Now that we leveled up, uh, let's dump a, uh, let's get rid of that draw on our shot. I like my shot to be exactly where I want it to be. Thank you very much. Phew, that one was a lot easier than the, uh, had a lot less of a time with that one than the, uh, the one in the palms. So maybe, let's go back to palms here and see if we can do that putting. Or maybe we should take another shot at the game. Take another shot of the Dune Club tournament. We've got time. Do there! The Dune Club, you wanna play golf? Absolutely, club tournament. Let's go. Alright, uh, 385 yards to 218 on our driver. 
I'm not gonna blow it power shot quite yet. Ooh, not quite a perfect shot, but that 13 mile an hour wind may help us. It won't help us if we're in the bunker, baby. Oh no, set me up. We're on the edge of the bunker. A lot of time on the edge of the bunker in this game. Uh, very slight adjustment to the wind here. 188 yards on the four wood underneath five wood pin. Let's go. Not quite a perfect shot, but still maybe a workable approach if we don't land in the out of bounds. We did not land in the out of bounds, we landed in the rough. Inconvenient chip for 31 yards here. Not quite a perfect approach. The hill is really taking its toll on that last little roll. About seven feet from par. Tippy tappy. Alright, we're starting out with the par. Uh, not bad. Not awful. Tight with 10 points. We really need the birdie. We really need to lay it on for the birdies here. Not quite a perfect drive. A little short on the power. Still a workable, workable shot, though. 200 and... Well, it was 208 yards, and then it rolled down the hill. 200 yard drive out of the semi rough. 98 yards from the pin, with the 3 out of referee with full set. Perfect shot. Wouldn't that us a very interesting approach on this green come on roll. Roll baby, roll! Look at that. We didn't have any more power to give that, but we still have a great putt for birdie here. Just a little tippy tappy. Right in there for Birdie. If we had gotten a little bit more lucky, we could have gotten Eagle and been in third place right now. Or been in second or third. Been in fifth place. Sorry, but, but still, very, very interesting. 19 mile an hour wind to our right here. So we play it like the game tells us. No, actually, I'm gonna adjust a little further to the left. That 19 mile an hour wind. 454 yards from the pin, 218 out of the driver, and let's see what we get. Perfect shot! Right onto a very playable section of the fairway. Uh, 243 left, 211 yards out of that drive. I think I finally learned my lesson on gambling on this hole. I'm not gonna use the same thing, that's cheap. I'm gonna use the two iron here. Well, actually, what if... I should not gamble on this. I should not gamble on this. I did not learn my lesson, I lied. We go for the one wood and see what it gets us. I know, one wood on the fairway is just nonsense. But we, we landed in a playable section of the rough here. I know we do not quite have the power of the switch, even in the semi rough. Uh, we're going to uh, keep this, even though we're using the 9 iron here, actually, I'm going to bump up a club and not give it my all. So, 8 iron here. We're gonna hit the top of the ball so we're not quite so afflicted by this 19 mile an hour wind coming most of the way at us. May have hit it a little too hard there, but it's not the end of the world. The wind may work that out for us. We are in a very inconvenient spot for birdie putt here. And lots of hill lots of hills affecting our ball here. this hill a little bit. Medium putter. Let's go fit. Come on, baby. Good approach. Good approach. Give me the birdie. Give me that birdie. Chirp, chirp. Nope. Uh, not a bad cleanup putt at the 6.7 feet per par. 
really hoping to hear some chirping here, but we'll take a par. Uh, I don't think I could have made that 35 degree frame with you. I know, I know, my name's Blake Uh, 115 yards from the end, 114 out of the 8 iron, 6 mile an hour wind, very slightly behind us here. Uh, behind us and slightly lower right. I think I'm gonna loft it up and use that wind and make it make for a great approach. We're gonna get down the up. Not quite a perfect shot, but hopefully it gets us something good and workable. Nope, rolling down the hill into the rough. Should've gone for the should have gone for the seven iron. Did not do that. 30 yard, 30 yard approach wedge here. That's not gonna be enough. Really beat that swing. Uh, sitting three yards from the pin here for the far putt. No hill in the Get in there, get in there, get in there. Get in there. Par. Just barely sinking that far putt. We're just gonna hang out at minus one for a while. We need these birdies on the early, ball, or early holes and just barely miss it. Which unfortunately makes me think we really need to grind, grind some more. Not quite a perfect drive. Jumped the gun a little bit on the second button press, but still a very playable lie here. Not quite a perfect hit, very slightly short on power this time. But again, playable lie, semi-rough, a 16-yard approach. Could have given that more and could have adjusted a little bit, but we've got a very easy par putt. 10 feet. Tippy tappy. Get in there, get in there. Ooh, just barely rolling in far again. Uh, now we're tied for six with that minus one. Really need these birdies on the on the front nine. And I'm just not getting them. 11 mile an hour wind coming at us. Let's see what this drive gets. Not quite a perfect drive, very slightly short on power. Tend to get it very, very slightly short. Off it. Uh, 173 in the pin. Uh, 11 miles an hour wind out in front of us. I'm going to say we're going to use most of the 188 yards before we give this and hope we get a good run. Gave it a little too much power. The accuracy was not quite perfect. Still nuts us a very respectable approach shot with 14 yards left. Hitting a little more than 15 with the sand wedge was the perfect play there. Chip in for birdie. There's those birdies we need. Chirpy chirp, baby. Tied for fourth. Let's see if we can keep that going. Once again, the very linear green of hole seven here. Four miles an hour of wind coming at us. I think we cancel that out with a power shot. And hopefully, really nail this shot. Perfect power shot. Maximized drive here. Completely undone the influence of that four mile an hour wind. 270, 237 yard drive. Best drive in the, best drive on the hole. 173 out of the two iron, and then we give it the full two iron. It'll gas a great approach. Uh, adjust very slightly to the left for the rightward motion of this four mile an hour wind. There we go. Not quite the full two iron, but that's probably for the best. Uh, once again, on this very linear green, almost perfect approach, rolling right up onto the hill for 8.7 feet for birdie. Entirely feasible if I don't fluff this. 
Might have given a little too much, but not at all too much. Birdie punt. There's those birdies we've been needing. Minus three, tied for third. On coming into the eighth hole here, par three, 171 yards. Yeah, 174 yards. Right? Gonna give it most of the four wood, and realize we should have given it all the four wood. Still a very interesting putt here from the edge of the green for a potential birdie. Adjusting for the hill here, 20 feet. Uh, very slight uphill, means most of this 30 foot putter. Come on, come on, come on, come on, yeah baby, chip in for birdie. Now we're feeling it, now I'm warm, we're at minus four, champs at minus six, let's keep the pressure on. Coming into hole nine, par five, 491 yards. Time for a power shot. Not quite perfect, so we do lose a power shot, but still very effective. Uh, a 225 yard drive. Not bad at all, given our character stat. Do I gamble on trying to get over the water hazard here? I do. I will, actually. Uh, I will bump up to. I will use. A, a, no, I won't use another power shot. Well, actually, let's see what influence the wind will have us. It's coming right at us. I think I do need to use another power shot to outswing the wind here. This is a terrible, terrible gamble. But I'm going to take it. Not quite a perfect power hit, and it's beginning to look like that's not quite enough. Just barely over the water hazard in that rough for a 34 yard approach chip. Entirely possible. Probable? Not quite. Just barely sailing past the lift of the cup there, having to take the par. Very inconvenient. That's what I get. But that gamble did seem to pay off. We are firmly in second place now. If we get a few more birdies after the turn, or just even hold par, we've got a good shot at at least second place. 10 mile an hour tailwind slightly to our left, coming from behind us, I should clarify in case I'm getting backwards. Once again, gambling on a power shot. Uh, I want to see if we can get a chunk of fairway that's normally slightly out of our reach. Play him up. Very slightly not perfect, so we burn another power shot. But it is worth it. Look at that. 232 yards after the roll. Very slightly off the fairway. Very much a possible, a, a, a usable approach shot out of this uh, three iron coming, ideally. Almost exactly the shot I wanted there. Unfortunately, I did miscalculate, and we are still uh, 43 yards from the pin. Thanks for a very interesting approach. Not quite playing the greens live very well. Car putt, uh, hill to our right. Adjusting. 13 feet means 15 feet, I will say. And just barely sinking in for par. Uh, remaining firmly in second. Two people below 
Lois are tied for third at minus two. Just need a birdie or two to get ahead of the champ here. I will take a tie for first. I will happily take a tie for first. Par three, 164 yards. A one mile an hour wind. Let's give it most of the four wood here. As always, aiming for a hole in one on these three, uh, these par three holes. Very, very good approach there, regardless. Seven feet for birdie here, putting downhill. Very slight adjustment. Tippy tap. Let's see what we get. I will take that birdie. That's the birdie we needed. We are now tied for first with the champ. Perfect drive, 352 yards to pin, free drive, 357 total, uh, rolling down the hill on the fairway, just barely staying on the fairway, 224 yard drive, 146 left, uh, I think we can just send it on this 4 iron, this 154 and get a great approach. Not quite a perfect shot, very slightly short on power, but uh, judging by the fly of the ball here, that was almost perfect. Bouncing off the pin, nearly a chip in for Eagle there. But this makes for a very easy birdie putt, 4.9 feet, tap it, tap. Just barely sinking in, mash the little too hard, still take the birdie. Now above the champ with minus six, so long as we don't love the last few holes, we've got a commanding lead here. Just gotta keep it together. 453 yards to hole, par five. Almost perfect drive. Very, very short uh, on the sec on the accuracy button. Uh, semi rough. If I'd have gotten a perfect shot there, we would have a very good line. Uh, almost perfect shot on the four wood, hoping that we can not sit in the rough again, but we remain there. Tree. I think we can curve around this. Get a gamble on a curve here. right off the tree. The gamble did not pay off. We now have a very inconvenient chip for, uh, for Birdie here. Not quite enough power behind that approach. Uh, the controller coming unplugged for a second there. Uh, par putt entirely feasible here, if a bit inconvenient. Ooh, just barely lipping out. Uh, Karma coming back for me. The commanding lead comment here. And of course it's biting me on the green. Uh, the champ also losing one, though. We remain one ahead of the champ. Desperate, desperate for trying to hold on to this lead. Perfect drive. Seven mile an hour wind. Slightly to our right to place us in a very good spot on the fairway. 216 yards total. 189 left in the hole. Entirely feasible to get a great approach out of this three wood. Let's see what we get. Flies well. Entirely feasible to nail this birdie putt. Adjusting very slightly to my uh, my up player's right for the live green here. Let's see if we can, if we can get this done. Ooh, 
explanation is green forcing us to lift out and accept a par putt. Not quite adjusted enough. Easy mash for those last five feet, just barely rolling in for par. Acceptable, but I was really hoping for that birdie. Par 3, 19 mile an hour wind, almost directly to our right, 147 yards to the pin. And if most of this 4 iron listed at 154, accidentally giving it the full 4 iron may give us the approach we need though. Wind really getting a hold of that, we are now in the semi rough right outside the green. In coming right at us. Might have given it a little too much power, but with the sand wedge and this wind, probably for the best. Great approach, but once again, loving it. Uphill for six feet. Definitely could have been a much better shot than a par, but uh, I will take it. Uh, tied for first with the champ now. Pressure is on for these last three holes. Perfect power shot on this one. 394 left to the pin, rolling just barely out of the range of the fairway in the rough. 179 to the pin now. Quite the shot I wanted out of the four wood. It's still leaving us a very good approach lie on this on the fairway here. I will take it. I will, I will. Even a little too much power on the nine iron, but that looks like it might be for the best here. Oh, look at that! Sailing right past the pin for a very, very easy par putt here. Very slightly downhill. Flipping around the hole, forcing us to take a bogey, remaining, keeping us tied for first though. The pressure mounting as we come into the last two holes, tied with the champ, four mile an hour headwind coming right at us. Slightly like inclined to the right, I misspoke. Two holes left and three power shots, I say we use them. Not quite a perfect power drive, but definitely, hopefully, making for a workable lie here. Rolling down the hill in the fairway for 212 yards is definitely still acceptable. Gambling, taking a shot over the out of bounds area here. Not the best idea. Gamble might pay off. Could ensure the gamble with a power shot here, which I'm going to do. Not quite a perfect power shot, but probably for the best, lofting way, way up and getting us a very favorable lie. Slightly left the middle of the fairway there. less than I needed on that pitching wedge. Nope, I am incorrect. Gave it more than I needed. Now we have a long, long uphill putt here. 7 yards. 23 feet. Long uphill putt for this birdie. Adjusting very slightly. Might not be enough. Just barely rolling in for the birdie there. Take the pressure off a little bit as long as we manage an even shot on the 18th hole here with its very linear green. We've got a good shot of the trophy here. Using up that last power shot. And a little bit more favorable to apply on the 
fairway here. A nearly perfect drive, using up that last power shot, curving with the wind for a, hopefully, provided those trees are not in the way, a very favorable lie right in the middle of the fairway for a best drive of 290, 233, 239 yards. Uh, 155 to the pin, 164 out of this three iron. Most three iron and see what we get. Ooh, coming in a little hot. Hill did not take enough gas off of that shot. Very inconvenient uh, approach chip here for eight yards. Oh, just barely rolling off the lip of the cup there for a very easy par putt that could have been a chip in for Verdi, and we got an all lucky. I'm hitting newscaster cadence a few times during this. Uh, easy par putt nets us the minus five for first place. Could have done better, but definitely not bad at all. Level likely coming our way here. Immediately a level and a good chunk of the next one, I guess. Look at all that experience rolling in. Oh, two levels, nice. Uh, I say... Very tempted to dump it into the ball control. Let's dump one into drive and see where we get from that. Dumping one into drive. Everything's looking mostly the same. Dump another into drive, see what we get. Yeah, absolutely. 223 yards on our drive now. A straight even on the height. Uh, straight even on the second staff that I did. A straight even on the block. Uh, one kick to the right on control. New champion! Yeah! Wiggle wiggle. It's me, it's Glacier from the Marion Club. I'm Glit Golf. <laughs> we get a trophy. Oh man, look at that. Perfectly timed. Perfectly, perfectly timed. The rain can be Don't settle for that. Keep climbing the ranks. Okay, so next. Uh, let's check our stars real quick. What have I missed? Uh, we need to do the putting contest at Palm Club. Oh, there's an alternate game at Doom Club. I was wondering what that space was. I don't know what that means, but that looks interesting. That's that's for next week. Uh, we've got a bunch of stuff at Lynx Club. Lynx Club's the last club uh, in the game, I think. Because it's the Triforce game. Yeah, it's the last club of the game. So, we'll uh, head over to Link's Club, and uh, I may do, actually, uh, we will definitely do the alternate game and the Palm Club Funny Contest next week, if I'm feeling up at all. Uh, that field challenge as well. Uh, and then probably take a shot at the, uh, at the champ of the Link's Club. Pretty easy to have. Pretty simple path. Not necessarily. Challenge is hit the target. That's the second poll for Winnie Valley, by the way. But I think we're out of time. Alright. Thank very much. But yeah, like I said, I think we're low. Well, I could go a little longer. Let's go to the putting challenge at uh, the one that we did not finish the putting challenge at the Palms. Let's do that. That will round out things. Because I misread the numbers on my screen. Alright, putting green guy. Now that we've worked with a much harder... Now that we've worked with a much... I don't want to practice here. No! Well, if they choose that as a practice spot... Yes, click 
practice. I wanted to talk to this guy. Yes, I did with the deep club. I can take you on. Seven times out of ten is our goal here. Very slightly uphill. Ooh, the hill slowing down the ball just enough to sink that. Let's do it again. Once again, sinking them two out of two. Let's see if we can keep that up. A lot of, lot of uphill to hit through here. Ooh, just flipping out and just barely rolling out of the circle. Unforged. Give that a shot. Once again, just barely rolling out of the circle. That's two. Just a reminder to drink water and you need to be fed an hour or so so I'm not a plump in the morning. You're correct. You're not, in, you're, you're not incorrect. We can miss one more of the days before we get to get about to try again. Thank you for reminding me about water. I spaced on that. Out some starter a good while ago, and now I just have three clients in the driving needle. Appreciate the reminder of the water, though. Ooh, just barely staying in the circle. Ostensibly harder green later in the game. Cannot nail this with the field. Bless you, Max. Good heaven. Bless you. Full of sneezes. Bless you. Bless you, kid. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you, bless you. So full of sneezes, sir. Hey! 
this one. Don't worry, it's just one so far. Okay, next. This way? Good, we made eight. We take those. Here's something else. I don't know what your putting is. It's not very good, but thank you. Okay. I think that I think that's gotta be it for tonight, because it's an amount of time. It's that amount of time. Uh yeah, I don't think we have anything else easy we can do. And who the heck's the driving contest? Wait. Brain. The, the thing will tell us about this driving. <laughs> the driving contest, won't it? Yeah, unless we want to check out an alternate game at June Club. I don't know, I don't feel like that's going to be short. Let's go! Let's go! Uh... Yeah, I don't think we have any time left. Once again, I may grind off screen and do what you say. Oh! Thanks. Uh... Curious about that alternate rat, alternate game. What is it? Is it alter? Is it alternate as you as in you alternate with someone else? Or is there just a thing at the driving range now? I need to know. I need to know. I need to know what the alternate game. Force the game to save. Yes. Save. Yes. Just immediately save and then jump back in. Yes. And then I gotta see what this alternate game is. Uh, I guess just play around. Uh. Is this how I get the alternative game? Question mark? This doesn't seem like the alternative game. Dang it. Do not save with the crown. Maybe we need to talk to people? Alternate game, please? You meet Mario and you become Grand Champ. Cool, thanks. Winning the club tournament takes perfect play. You were better than perfect. Nah, I was terrible. Thank you, though. Club champion is the peak for any player. The king of that crew is the grand champ. Cool. What's the alternate game, though? Huh? Um, I need to know. I've almost had to look up a guy. Like, I didn't think I was gonna need a guy for this game. Alternate game. Mario Golf. Information 
there's a lot of it. There's a lot on this game. Uh, Star Challenges Dune Club. Play in the tournament. Johnny always gets a minus five, so much get six birdies and part of the rest to win. Uh, after beating Tiny in the match game, the course opens. If you place in the tournament, talk to the three people standing in the triangle to play the alternate game. So that 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 those people who are looking for a group. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's go talk to them. They're over here, right? Wrong. They're on the putting thing. Dude, that, that jiggling when I'm walking diagonally is not very pretty. Me? Over rock time? Hey. Hey, you entered the Doom Club tournament, right? Yeah. I thought so. You play with me, please? Sure. Alright! We can play alternate rules. What? Alternate rules? A team of two takes turns hitting the same ball. Of course it is. Uh... Let's do... Stroke play. Because I'm better at stroke play than I'm playing. With wiggle. It's low level players hoping for an upset. With a champ like me, there's no denying it. Start now. Oh no, this is the one where like I hit and then they hit off of it and I have to clean up their mess. Play Doom Club because of me. Thanks a lot. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm cool. I know who I know. If I compete by taking turns hitting the ball, I will start. I want to give you a drive that is workable. Go. Ooh, already burning one of my six precious, precious power swings on a whip. Ooh, rolling in the semi-rough did not make it easy for my teammate there. Ooh, dang, he the magnets. No, no beans on the table. You know the rules. No, no beans on the table. We talked about it. Oh my gosh! Look at that! Awful, awful. And of course the other team is not gonna be surgical. Oh no. no. I was gonna say, oh the other team could be surgically perfect. No. Not perfect, but hopefully I can get a good approach out of that team right here. That guy's gonna sail over the pit. You're kidding me! Oh, you okay, Magnus? Did anyone hear that, like, noise that Magnus just made? He sounded a little sweet. Are you alright, baby? leaving us a very workable approach here. Putting the pressure on and then taking it right back off again. Okay. We're off the Ooh, might have given it a little too much, but we take those in for bogey. As long as they don't sink, we'll take this, but they do sink, so that's a tie. Lime is our, uh, is our teammate, and Lily is the rival team's, uh, one half of the rival team. Lime! I knew I should have picked the car, okay. It's too late now. Alright, Lime, give me a good drive. Wow! Well, I'm rolling in here with the perfect shot. Very much a working shot here. Oh, a chew, Kitty! Okay, man? Okay, 
looking around like, um, that's easy yet. Perfect shot off that three blues. Might give my teammate a workable chip shot here. Rolling right up to the next to the edge of the green. Oh, the approach shot ranges are the same, no matter which iron you have. Oh, that's... that's information I, I repeated previously a lot. A terrible approach. Thank you. Now I have to make a very annoying pun. Oh no! Rolling right out of the range of the hill. Or right out of the range of the hole if he sinks this. Will he though? He will not! Uh, lip it out there. Saved by the lip there, so long as our teammate can also sink this boat putt. Come on. Come on, Lime, you can do it. There we go. Bogey. Just just run the whole game time. <laughs> Luckily, we are up for this drive. Oh, we got a bonus point for longest drive. Well, you know what that means. Time for a power shot, baby. Not quite a perfect power shot. Unforge. Ooh, very little wall bopping into a tree. 220 yards probably will not get us the longest drive. Other guy sticking a 214 yard drive, we get longest drive point. Which we will probably need. Come on, Lime. I know I left you a terrible, terrible shot, but you can do it, Lime. Oh, Lime. Lime, we're leaving you just as bad of a shot as I left you line. Oh, come on. Come on, get out of the green. I want a really good approach here. Not quite. Rolling into these fair way. Not open the wrong All right. Not quite a perfect approach. Not as good of an approach as our enemy team here, but it's worth it. So why do we do that? Why did you end up with a three? Very strange. Either way, nice setup for an easy bar putt. Provided Lily doesn't you know, see something insane here. They almost did! Did everyone see that? It rolled off the lip. That was almost a perfect chip in. Get in here. Okay. We once again maintain the tie. Just ratcheting up the tension here. Look at that. The exact same score the whole time. But we did get longest drive. So, we have a bonus point. Ooh, closest to pin. Lime up first. Come on, Lime. Come on, Lime. Get us closest to the pin. Completely whipping her shot, but it still works just fine. Lime rolling in for the hole in one. We take those. This also sets us up for the hole five. No way. Okay. I thought they were also going to hole in one. Really? Was? Uh, no. Wow. Lime really rolling on the closest to pin there. Now we just got to wait out uh, Louie and the guy who the name we didn't get. Finish their butts. Lime rolling in with the hole in one. Something I have yet to achieve on this hole. Get 
now played by the computer. We are now two strokes ahead. Let's see how long we can hold on to that. Two strokes plus bonus points, actually. It's very precise. Yeah, perfect power shot. Hopefully adjusted for that 9 mile an hour wind coming down right there. 243 yard drive into the 70 drop. The guy whose name we didn't get, not to be outdone, bouncing off of the tree, uh, which paid off all his roll, he could have easily gotten just the same drive he did if he didn't walk out of that tree. Oh well. Lily with a pretty good approach shot there. Alright, Lime. I gave you a very good approach shot here. I need you to make use of it. Completely whipping it on the G iron. Come on. We're, we're up two strokes. How could you do this to me? Ooh. We might overshoot the pin there. That's not how much I wanted to do that. Okay. Well, we'll see. Not quite. Not perfect, but a workable approach. Putting on the fairway. Computer really giving us the gimme here. Ooh, overcompensating for the live green. Alright, live. You can do it. Way too much for pitching wet. Pitching wet. I'm gonna have to. Oh! Did you see the brakes get on, get on that thing? Nearly a chip in after those brakes kick. Come on. There we go. Balls in for bogey. Maintaining the uh, similar Lime coming in with the drive. Three wood? Reason. Very strange choice. Why would you drive with your driver? Whatever. That's a pretty good buy I can play off of. Lily also coming in with the driving three wood perfect shot. Giving them a few yards of advantage. Nothing I can't make up. It's a little short on power. A lot of short on power, landing in that sand bunker. Ooh, no, semi rough right outside the sand bunker. We need to take those. That's that's gotta that's gotta overshoot the approach, right? No. Well, yes, but like not as bad as I thought it was going to. All right, line, you can do it. That's odd. I can see why you placed it there, but I'm odd. Ooh, I was really hoping to chip in there. I needed to give it a little less. I didn't want to leave the... I did not want to leave the uh, putt to the computer here. Did you see that? It lifts all the way around the whole hole, basically. The par. Losing us our lead. Unfortunate. Rolling in for bogey. Oh no, we still have one stroke lead, but that's not a comfortable lead. Please tell me this is jump nine. I'm out of time. Oh no, I can do this. I have enough time, he said. Definitely not having enough time. I can save in the middle of the game. Uh, if it's if it's not nine holes and it says at the turn, I'm saving it. I'm saving at the turn. Playing the game. Like, we're playing the rest of the later. Perfect shot. No wasting power shot. Into the 15 mile an hour wind, which is kind of unfortunate, but as long as it doesn't roll behind that tree, we've got a good lot. I think it rolled behind the tree. Ooh, 
like where I said, uh, I don't want to be in love with tomorrow. Please don't be done. Oh, it wasn't. You take those. Very strange choice of approach shot here, but now I've got a, now I've got a fun, uh, fun little chip. I thought they were aiming for the same fun little chip there. Ooh. Leaving Lime a very annoying butt there. Don't say this, please. I was so close, it lipped out. Very stressful. Come on, Lime. Come on, Lime, I need you to do this, Lime. Lime. Lime, I need you to sink the putt. Lime, what was that? Did you see them adjust a billion miles this way? It's too much. Nope. Well, maintaining the tie here. So many tied holes. Such a, such a tight game here. Move closest to the pin. Come on, Lime. One once. I need you to do it again. As long as Lime outperforms that, we will get the closer to the Come on, Lime. Come on, Lime. You can do it. But you didn't. Lime, why? Why would you do this to me, Lime? Not a bad approach, but we've also seen how bad mine is. He's gonna sink this. He's gonna sink this, and we're gonna be back to being tied. Come on, Lime, I need you to sink this. I need you to sink this. <laughs> Exact same hole, hole after hole. Uncle Lamb very stressed. Ooh, long stride. Really for once using the driver. I can definitely outsend 182, right? This is a terrible idea. Listen, just because I do have the power to hit this doesn't mean I should, because I have a line to hit that. She will whip it. I'll do that on my own. Ooh, eating up another power swing. At least we get longest drive. I really, I really wanted to go for the island in the middle of the water feature, but I didn't want Lime to sit here and waste a billion years of effort. I think I finally gotta come back to this, like, after we're done. Oh, sheesh. Alright, Lime, now I'm counting on you, don't do the same thing. Here comes Karma. Here comes Karma, it's gonna bonk me in the head. Yup, sheesh. Okay, playing it back in the fairway. Valid. I told you I could just go for the whole. Oh my no! I had like one pixel of water hazard left. This is gonna cost me. Come on, Lime. Come on, Lime. One pixel of water hazard. That worked very well for you. Look at that. Very 
actually losing. We are losing. Why did I do this to myself? Plus four! Yike! Alright, at the turn.
Wow, look at that putt. I wish I could make putts like that. I'm too good at video games. I was wrong. I was wrong. Look at that. Happy, happy, happy to be wrong. Light up once more. Oh no! I wanted to, I wanted so badly to be the one swinging for the longest drive. I love, I love being able to do the longest drive and pumping stats into drive. All right, Len. I'm gonna need you to really. I'm gonna need you to do the longest drive here. Lime out here with the perfect shot. Really coming in clutch. Just barely out swinging. Like I said, I think these novelty points are really, really good save our, to save our tail. I don't think I can beat that. We'll see. 
like I said, we've gotten most of the knowledge points here, so we might be able to make it. Please. I would really appreciate it if you win. 
on me. No. It really, it all comes down to this. This hole will determine uh, whether me staying up an extra out matter. Come on, come on, man. I need something to do you. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate that very, very much. Thank you for the good, good shot, man. I'm very happy. Make that a good approach. I didn't adjust to the wind. Oh, lime is really 50 50 on the green. I adjusted to the wind. I only adjusted to the wind. Oh, this is very dreadful. No. You're kidding me. Did everyone just see that? Did everyone see how great that approach was? Come on, lime. Lime, I need you to sink this birdie, but lime. Lime, buddy. Lime. Lime out here. Really not helping her odds. No, I was hoping he'd underswing. Well. I think we lost. Well, I got some experience. But I don't think we did it. Wait, Lime's Wiggling. Oh, uh, no, Lime's Wiggling is boss. But it was fun. Well, I just wasted my time. Pick up the. Uh, yeah, uh, I thought we were gonna immediately go into it again. Wiggle Wiggle. Nod. Wait, is it gonna. Oh, it just kicked me out? Obviously, we did not win the alternate game, and we're gonna alter alternate game when we're alternating. Either way, very much frustrating. Mostly because I am not the only one affected. Okay, we will save and quit here. Yes, save for progress. Make sure there's not anything else we need. Oh, let's start talking about that shot. Holes in one. Did we ever? Oh, this was the one from the other day. Still very fun to watch. Hole in one. That's very fun to watch. Anyway, uh, I'm out of time. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, new book. New book. New book Friday. Uh, New Book Friday was... Wait, no. Not New Book Friday? I don't remember. Either way, tune in Friday. Okay, for cuts. Uh, tune in Monday for me to not fail on the alternative game. Thank you very much. Have a great week.